Hi, I'm Allie with the Potomac Bead Company, and I'm going to show you today how to do this cute little rubber bracelet. The rubber, bra rubber bracelets have become really, really popular these days, and it's a cute little gift idea for a teenager or somebody younger, and it's nice because it is rubber, so it'll just slip on your wrist. For this, we're going to be using a couple materials. We're going to be using six millimeter jump rings, and these are jump rings, so they have a little opening to them. And then we're also using six millimeter rubber rings. The rubber rings are closed. They don't have a whole opening to them, and that's what's going to be nice for our bracelet, so it's not going to open very, very easily. In addition to that, I'm going to be using two pliers. I have a needle nose pliers and a bent needle nose pliers. A flat nose pliers will work or anything just as long as it doesn't have any ridges on the inside. So we're going to get ready to do this bracelet. So to get started, what I'm actually going to do is move my rubber rings out of the way and I'm just going to be working with my jump rings right now. What I'm going to do is open some of the rings. We have other jump ring videos as well that you can check out if you need help and some more jump ring ideas. But basically, I'm going right into that slit of the opening of the jump ring and I'm going to open it a little bit more because it's going to be open just a tiny little bit. And what I'm doing is actually pushing back on the ring. I want to make sure that I'm not pulling back on the ring because then I'll lose my O shape there. What I want to do is just push it back so that the opening still lines up it's just pushed back a little bit. I'm gonna slide two of my rings then onto it, and then I'm gonna get ready to close it up. You can do two jump rings, you can do one jump ring, it's kinda of up to you. And all I do to pull it back, as you saw, was just kinda of push it back a little bit. You can even take it back a little bit past where you think it's gonna be closed, and the tension on it will spring it back so that it's fully closed. You do wanna get your jump rings as closed as possible, so that way it doesn't open up for you. Next, what you're gonna do is grab another jump ring, open it up, put a ring on, and you're always linking it like a rosary chain to your last one. Stick another rubber ring on, and close it up. I'm gonna to go to the next, and we're gonna continue this the whole length of the bracelet. You could put a clasp on it, but the nice thing about this bracelet is that we don't need to have a clasp because it is rubber, and it will open up for us, and it'll just stretch right on. You're gonna close it up then, and move on to the next. So it's just like the rosary chain. We're going the whole way around the bracelet. I'm gonna add some more and then I'll show you how we close it off. So I've continued added, adding the rings a little bit further and I'm about four and a half inches. So I'm gonna continue adding another three inches or so to get my bracelet done. And then we'll put the, we'll put the rings together so I can show you how we close it off. So I've gotten to the end of my bracelet here that I've got all my rubber rings on, and all I'm gonna do is share a jump ring with the two ends of rubber rings. I did use 20 rubber rings on the bracelet. And I'm just gonna open up my last jump ring here. Open it up, slip it into one of the rubber rings here, slip it into another rubber ring, and close it up. And again, like I said, if you do want to make it look a little bit a little bit more with the metal look, or you can do all one color, you can change the pattern a lot um, and use different size rings too. This is a nice size that it's going to fit well for those six millimeter rubber rubber rings. Um, but you can do two jump rings in the place so that way it has a little bit more gold look to it. But that's all you do. You just open up the jump rings, close them up, attach the rubber rings, and then it's going to stretch enough to go right over right over your wrist and it's just going to hang out there then right on the wrist. And this bracelet is seven inch for a seven inch wrist and it does take 20 rings of both the 20 rubber and the 20 gold. So hopefully it gives you a little idea for a quick little simple easy bracelet to make and you can have fun making it. You can do it in totally different styles and colors and all kinds of different patterns. You could also throw in some different beads as well with some wire. Um, but hopefully you have fun, had fun watching this and you get a chance to make one. If you get a chance also you can visit us on Facebook. And if you stop by our website, PotomacBeads.com, you can check out our locations page and we'd love to see you in one of our retail locations. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great rest of your day.